everyone, it's me, Mrs. Louderback, and today I'm going to walk you through your lesson on Earth layers. So we are going to dig deep into this uh, learning part of our unit and understanding the, um, the Earth. Um, this first lesson is a pretty straightforward one in understanding that you have your Plate Motion Interactive Notebook, that it's bookmarked into your web browser, and that we can copy and paste slides from uh, one slide from the slides that I give you in the assignment into your master interactive notebook. The other thing is um, I want us to be able to discuss the layers of the earth and uh, the importance of, that it has on plate motion in our problem solving that we're doing with Amplify. I'm going to show you how to do the simulation with uh, Amplify and then we'll do a silly putty lab in class today. The last thing is I want you to explore the Journey to the Center of the Earth simulation, which is a separate website from Amplify. So um, when you open up Google Classroom, there are a set of slides given to you, um, one through four. Uh, really, slide one is um, just to have you put down uh, all the definitions into your Google slide. And so I want to make sure that you have the three definitions um, in your Google slide, geohazard, geohazard engineer, and surface. So geohazard is a natural disaster caused by a plate motion. Geohazard engineer is an engineer who applies concepts from earth science and physics to help minimize the impact of natural disasters. And then surface, which is we, what we want to add into our Amplify notebook, surface is the outside or top layer of something. So you want to make sure that you have all three terms and their definitions in your notebook. Okay, now the other thing I'm going to have you do, okay, so this is the slides that I've given you and it should be six through um five through seven on here, not six through seven, but um, you have these slides that I want you to add into your Amplify notebook. You need to open up from your bookmark, see I bookmark mine right here, ladder back motion, uh, plate motion interactive notebook, but you wanna have yours opened up and you notice that yours has one, two, three, four. What we're gonna do is copy and paste slides five, six, and seven into your master notebook. So to do that, I'm going to go to the slides that I assigned today. I'm going to select uh, slide two because I don't need to add slide one. Slide one's already there. That's your glossary. What I want to do is I want to select slide two, hold the shift key down on the keyboard, and then select three and four. And notice how they've turned yellow. All right, that means I've selected all of them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste those slides into my interactive notebook. So if I right click on the mouse pad, or it's the two fingers, like you double tap with two fingers, um, you'll get this little uh, browser option. I'm going to select copy. Then I'm going to open up my plate motion interactive, which should be bookmarked. I'm going to go down to um, Underneath slide four, there's a little line here underneath slide four. I'm going to right click again and then I'm going to click paste. And what I want to do is I want to leave it linked to the original presentation so that if I make any changes later or something happens, it should automatically change as well. Okay, so, so now I've got slides one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. So, um, just to review our, our scenario here, Hannah Wong, who is our project director, is working for the, um, the World Ocean Administration. And they want us to design a warning system to help the people of Sri Lanka, which is an island nation in the Indian Ocean, in the event of a tsunami. Which a tsunami is a rare destructive ocean wave that moves along um, which moves a large amount of ocean water, resulting in, in extreme flooding. Oftentimes, tsunamis are formed due to plate motion. So in our notes section here, and I would recommend you change the text color in your notes to white, so it'll stand out a little more. But in our notes section here, we want to write um, from the email what we need to understand. So we need to understand um, how geologic events are created by plate motion. And then we also need to understand how tsunamis 
form so that we can better predict um, where and when they might take place. All right, so that would be slide four. Slide five is our chapter one question. So today we want to kind of look at and explore what is Earth's outer layer like? That's what we want to try to answer in our first thing. And, and essentially, just like the chemical reaction, we're going to make a paragraph explaining to the people of Sri Lanka what Earth's outer layer is like. So we got some experience with that with the continental drift um, activity. We know that the continents um, have moved and they're on plates. Uh, so we're going to look at specifically what's underneath those plates. So we know that to figure out how plates move, we need to look at the layer just below the plates, okay? So we need to understand what's happening below the Earth's crust. Um, and what does it mean by a soft solid rock versus a hard solid rock? And it's hard for us to envision that rocks can be both soft and hard at the same time, but they can. And so we're going to explore those two types of materials um, in a simulation setting and in a hands-on approach setting. So um, like always, in order to get the sim to work, any link to work, I have to be in presentation mode. And I can click on the link right here and it'll log you in to Amplify. You need to make sure that you log in with your Gmail account when you go to Amplify and it should take you directly to the sim. The sim looks uh, like this right here. We've got the earth. Okay, and I need to choose a region to study, and I'm going to pick region one. So it's got two continents that I'm going to explore. All right, and notice here I have an aerial view of the continents, and then here this is a cross-section view that I can see the different layers of the surface of the Earth. The top part is a hard solid, the bottom orange is a soft solid. When I click run, I can make some observations about what's happening in the simulation. So as I'm looking at it, I see, oh, they're moving together. Um, it's happening over millions of years. As the continents have collided with one another, one's getting pushed down. The other one is forming up, almost forming a, a mountain. And even though this is happening relatively quickly in the simulation, this is actually taking a place over roughly 200 million years. So that is a, an extremely long time. So that tells me that the rate these continents move is very slow. Okay, so now I'm gonna redo it again because this was a hard solid and a soft solid. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna reset the time and I'm gonna build. So I'm gonna click the reset button here and I'm gonna build again. And this time though, I'm gonna move the little button that from soft solid to a hard solid. So now both materials, the continent and the layer underneath the continent, they're both hard solids. All right, I'm going to let this run. Make some observations here. So right now, 40 million years has gone by. Not much has happened. They're not moving. They're just sitting there. And I'm now at 100 million years and still nothing has happened. So that kind of lets me know that really what's moving the continents, um, you know, Alfred Wegener's theory is something's going on in that soft solid, in that soft solid rock, the mantle, and that that soft solid rock is really what's affecting plate motion, what's causing the motion to occur. So after I've looked at the simulation, I'm going to go back to my Amplify slides. And now I'm going to explore what it is to be a soft solid material or a hard solid material in the class with silly putty or with plastic cubes. And I'm going to write my observations there. And then I'm going to think about how is a soft solid different from a hard solid rock? You know, thinking of the sim and the two materials that are taking place. If you are working from home and you are a remote learner, um, I really encourage you to try to find silly putty, play-doh, molding clay, um, anything like that that would be considered a soft solid. And then if you don't have a plastic cube, like maybe find some dice from a board game or put some Legos together in a brick. Um, I do have a video of me exploring the material. So I've got my silly putty here and my plastic cube, but I also found some molding clay and some Legos and I did the lab here. If you absolutely do not have any of these materials available for the lab, go ahead and watch the video and it'll walk you through how to do the lesson. 
Um, the last thing I'm going to have you do today in your learning is a uh, journey to the center of the earth. So this is a fun little um, lab and it's it's BBC. So it's by the British um, British uh, website here. And so it's journey to the center of the earth. How far would you have to travel to reach Earth's core and see what happens along the way? So this is a fun thing. So we've got a drill here and a submarine drill here. And you literally will scroll down through the Earth's surface and it'll come up with little facts on how, how deep things are. So we're a meter deep, so that's um, a little over three feet. So the pigs can smell truffles that deep. Rabbits and moles can almost bury that deep. And I can keep going. Standard grave is almost two meters, so that's six feet deep. And I can keep moving through and keep moving through until I get closer and closer down. And notice that it's getting darker on the ocean. That's because you're moving further away from light. So there's all kinds of fun stuff um, that you can explore and see. It does take a while to get to the very, very bottom. So here I've got uh, the giant Pacific octopus available. Here we've got the deepest metro station um, in Ukraine. So there's all kinds of, this is also the level they bury nuclear waste. That's kind of interesting to see. So uh, all kinds of fun stuff to explore and look at. All right, so uh, just a review. Double check your interactive notebook, add the new slides in, complete the lab, and check out the journey to the center of the earth sim. I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you again in class. Bye.